What is up, guys? Goose here. Coming back at you with a video. We're going to be going over the Houston Astros Boston Red Sox game that was played earlier tonight in Boston. Astros won 7 to 3 as they jump out early. They score six runs in their first two innings and they cruise to that 7 3 victory. Um, <coughs> Corbin, uh, Colby Martin was the uh, starting pitcher for the um, Houston Astros. Or Corbin Martin, excuse me. Corbin Martin was the starting pitcher for the Houston Astros. He only went four innings. He gave up five hits, two earned runs. He walked four, struck out none. So he wasn't eligible for the win. Josh James did get the win in relief. As he pitched three scoreless innings, struck out one in, sorry, walked one, struck out two. Uh, so the Astros, they did all their damage they needed in the first inning. The first inning is they played five runs in the first inning. As Brantley doubled to right the score run, and then Reddick hit a sacrifice fly. Uh, Guriel singled to center, and then White doubled to deep right to score Correa and Guriel. They get 5 nothing. that's all the Astros needed. The uh, Red Sox did score one, a run in the first inning on a pass ball. That's when the uh, Martin walked the bases loaded, and that allowed a run to score on a pass ball. Um, the Astros did get the run back at the top of the, third, uh, the, top of the second, excuse me, as Correa hit a sacrifice fly, and then... The Astros close out the scoring in the fifth inning as Josh Reddick homered to center field to make it 7-3, and that's how the game ended. Um, going over the stats, uh, George Springer was 1-4. for four. Bregman was 1-3. for three. Brantley was 3-5. for five. He drove in a run. Correa was 1-3. for three. He drove in a run. And Reddick was 1-4. for four. He drove in two runs. Guriel was 1-4. for four. He drove in a run. And White was 2-5. for five. He drove in two runs. So all in all, it was a great game for the Astros as they have they won their 10th game in a row, and they will go for the three-game sweep tomorrow against the Boston Red Sox. Uh, pulling up the uh, probables for tomorrow. Let's see here. I pulled up the probables. Here we go. Yeah, so the game is going to be at 12.05. Um, I'm sorry, 1 I'm sorry, 105 Eastern Time. And the probable is going to be Wade Miley, who's 4-2 and two on the year with a 3.51 ERA. It's Chris Sale, who's 1-5 for five with a 4.24 ERA. Chris Sale is one of their aces. He hasn't pitched well this year. But um, everybody knows what he's capable of. So hopefully the Astros can come out and get the sweep. If not, I mean, they've already won 2 out of 3, which is a win in my book. So with that with that win, the, uh, the Astros improved to 31-15. and 15. They have won 10 in a row again. So Astros are heating up at the right time um, as they open up an eight-and-a-half game lead over the Los Angeles Angels in the American League West. So hopefully the Astros can keep this ball rolling as um, they'll be going for the three-game sweep. And after that, uh, after the game, after the that game, they'll start a four-game series back in Houston against the Chicago White Sox. So a 10-game win streak for the Astros, which is good. They win 7-3 over the Boston Red Sox, and they've won the first two games of this series. And as always, uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give the stream a thumbs up, and make sure you ring that bell to get all notifications. Thank you all, and I'll talk to you guys later.